Hey guys, so let me go ahead and quickly tell you I'm recording this on my phone because a few weeks ago a good friend friend of mine, Alphys, and I both went to Mepkin Abbey, South Carolina, at Monk's Court or Charleston. And we had a lot of fun and we went to go see John Lawrence's grave. But a lot of it footage got cut out in editing by accident. And speaking of editing, I could not do much because I uploaded it on my phone. When I tried to transfer it to my computer. It got all blurry. And so I have to record this on my phone to add the intro. So that's why it's all shaky, bad lighting. I do not have any of my editing tools or anything like that. My camera, not here. Because I couldn't bring a, a giant camera to Mepkin Abbey. <laughs> the monks would have kicked us out. So there's going to be quite a few cut parts. Um, it's not clickbait, I promise. But near the end, the um, John Lawrence's grave footage got cut off a lot. So in reality, there's only a few minutes of the John, the, well, the, the Lawrence's grave. Because I recorded the whole thing. It was beautiful, beautiful entrance to the Lawrence Cemetery. But it cut off, so we're just gonna, there's going to be a clip where you randomly appear in the Lawrence Cemetery. Just appear out of nowhere, okay? <laughs> So, just wanted to explain that real quick. I could not do a lot of editing again, so you won't be able to hear a lot of people. But don't worry, my friend Alphys will be doing closed captions. You're going to want to click on that because, um, it's hard to hear some things. So, this is history vlog number one, and here is my experience of Mapkin Abbey. Okay, some more explaining to do. Um, so we went to a gift shop. It was the first destination we went to. It was right at the entrance. And the people at the front, ooh, they did not like cameras. So I had to sneakily get my phone out and snap some pictures. <laughs> so here's some pictures of the gift shop. All right, this is history vlog number one. I am with Alphys. What's up? I'm Alex. We are in Mepkin Abbey. Nice. So this land was previously owned by John Lawrence's father, Henry Lawrence. Come on, Alphys. Coming. Um, and most of his family um, is buried there. All his family, John Lawrence, Henry Lawrence, Martha, everyone, all that. Everyone is buried here, including some close family friends. And so our final destination will hopefully be John Lawrence's grave. That's the main reason I asked my family to come here. But we, until then, then. turn into a history project. Yep. And afterward, we will be, uh, I'm with my family. And afterward, our final destination will hopefully be there. And I will say some, uh, Alphys will be telling us some facts about um, Mepkin Abbey that we found. Yeah. I'm only stating some stuff that I found about its history. Yeah, we found it about the history, but we had to write it down um, from Wikipedia. So Alphys will be reading it to us because I'm the one recording and I cannot do hold two things at once while trying to keep a steady oh, aim. Lenny. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see who is it. Oh, we don't even. It doesn't have anyone. Well, if anyone. I'm and, sure it's Jesus. We actually, I actually don't know. There's a lot of people who look like that in statues. So, can you tell us some facts about Thorn, Mepkin Abbey? It's the thorn crown, it's Jesus. Yeah, that's definitely it's Jesus, now that I see the thorn crown. Can you tell us some facts about Mepkin All Abbey? Right. As we'll give you some nice scenery as she reads. The area has been known as Mepkin for centuries and was originally the estate of several historic families. The first record of the name was in 1681, granted to the sons of Sir John Colletton, one of the large proprietary of South Carolina. 
1762, one of the descendants sold the land to Henry Lawrence of Charleston. Lawrence built his home there, and it was known as the Mepkin Plantation. After a few generations, the Lawrence family sold the property, and it passed and it passed through several hands. In 1936, the well-known publisher Henry R. Luce bought the property. His wife, Claire Booth Luce, commissioned and built an expensive landscape garden known as the Mepkin Garden. Then, in 1949, the Luces donated a large part of the property, including the garden, to the, tra to the um, Trappist Orders Gethsemane Abbey for its use. Thank you, Elphys. Yeah, we had That's to read like it from Wikipedia because we lost it. <laughs> it's like one more paragraph. If you want to, go ahead. Uh, 29 monks of the Order of Cistercians of the Strict Observance Trappist came from Gethsemane, Kentucky, to found the new Mepkin... In the Abbey. With a few limitations, the Abbey and the Mepkin Gardens are open to the public on a daily basis. The monastery grounds include a graveyard containing the ashes of Henry Lawrence, as well as the, the graves of John Lawrence, Claire Booth Luce, and her husband, the publisher Henry Luce. His gardens are now known as the Mepkin Abbey Botanical Garden. Thank you. Hey, Dad. Hey. Got Dad in history vlog. Hi. <laughs> So te technically it was owned by many people, but I just mo mainly know it is it was previously owned by Henry Lawrence. Is it the Alpha recording stuff too? I am not recording at the moment. I'm just taking pictures. She will be soon one day. At this moment. Well, to make it even at better. At this moment. Uh, we're going to be eventually yeah. going inside of the abbey and seeing what's in there. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of like when we went to the Buddhist monastery. I wanted to see what was inside the building. But, but yeah, but you couldn't. Anyway, there will um, also be a maze. I'll record some in there, but for now I will I would definitely record that. I'll record the entire maze. Okay, you can do that if you want. You send it to me and I can edit it. Yes. Well, if David so if, if David Bowie jumps out of nowhere, I'm going to freak out. So I will stop recording for now and I will start recording when we're in a new area. See y'all in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, we're in finally in a new area. We're going to check out the labyrinth tune. Alphys loves the big trees. Mom's Whoa. collecting acorns. Mom, how many do you have? Uh... Uh, two or three different species. There's quite a few trees. My mom actually said um, the Henry fam, the Lawrence family must have planted them from the get this big. Well, especially that. The driveway is lined with oak trees, live oak, and those are two or three hundred year old oak trees. Oh, and there's also a house over there. Where this way is there's the, the American cemetery. We're going to need to check that out later yeah. for the blog. We can make a new whole new video of that. Yeah. So, this we're going to go check out the labyrinth soon. It's kind of, there's a maze here. I don't know hey, if Hey, we're going the to Lawrence the cemetery later. Do think we're going to see any ghosts? I hope we meet the ghost of John Lawrence. I know, right? Be maybe awesome. he can start, maybe he can verify this video. <laughs> I'm John Lawrence and I approve this message. <laughs> no, no, maybe, maybe we could also, maybe we could also get him to like advertise some cereal for us. I'm John Lawrence and I approve this message. <laughs> maybe get him to like run for senator or something. Well, he makes such a good senator, actually. His father was a senator, so. Yep. Senator Henry Lawrence. He made South Carolina pretty famous back then. Yeah, also. Yeah, I'm gonna be the oh, there's another house over there. Yeah. Actually, South Carolina used to be the richest colony of the 13. Oh, let me go and tell you. This is my brother. We're, um, his name is not... We're not going to tell you his name because we call her Alphys. That's not her real name. I'm not actually Alex. But we call him Ferdinand. It's his D&D name. Well, I mean, I used He's for a going to make a guest appearance in some it's of the videos. It's also the name of an Austrian archduke. You guys know who. I found him. Just call him Lee. Nah, that sounds like Charles Lee, who is a coward. <laughs> He's also a Templar, if you ever play Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> hey, Elvis, we need to read the sign real quick. A grove of trees. Oh, this is the fireman's memorial. Nine overcup oaks have been planted here to honor the ultimate sacrifice made for the protection of us all by the Charleston Nine firefighters on June 18, 2007. Nine oaks to honor their life, nine oaks to honor their strength, nine oaks to honor their beauty. Walk this grove, sit and ponder in the council ring. Find comfort, inspiration, courage, and hope. And they're different people. Captain, Captain Mike Fink, Fink. Captain Billy Hutchinson, Hutchinson. Captain Louis Mulkey. Louis Mulkey. Engineer, Engineer Brad Beatty. Beatty. Engineer, Engineer Mark, Mark Kesley. Kelsey. 
Assistant Engineer Michael French, Firefighter Melvin Champion, Firefighter Earl Drayton, and Firefighter Brad Thompson. Rest in peace. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Jeremiah 20, verse, er, um, chapter 29, verse 11. Oh, that's beautiful. If I didn't mess up on talking. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't... Is that the maze? Is that... Re that doesn't really look much I like a maze. It's not the maze. It's not a hedge. <laughs> well, we will be... Let's... Um... If the, uh... Search for African Americans that way. Let me look at the map. Oh, we need to show you the map. We don't give you the full experience map. Okay. Oh, we're going... This is... Fireman's where... Memorial and the Labyrinth is, like, right over right, there. we want to... This is where our hope... Like will be our final destination to Lauren Cemetery. I might cry. I apologize. Yeah, there's a nice statue. One and a there. half mile walk to the African American Cemetery. You have to go around trees too. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we'll be right back. We're going. We'll be right back. We need to get over there, and we'll see y'all soon. You're in the field. Very nice. Show y'all sign in a minute about a fire. That's the cage of firefighter. I'll show a picture after this clip's done. This is actually pretty comfy, huh, Elvis? It is. It's kind of like a fire. Oh my gosh, I it's have these are in Destiny of Firefighters, and it's a fire pit. Get it? But mm -hmm. bum bum. There's a reason I'm still alive when so many have died. And I'm willing to let me for it. Yes, this is us just bursting into Hamilton for no apparent reason. There's, a, there's, a, there's an inner walkway. I'm afraid to go on because I don't have any socks on. I don't go. I think Liam's in it. He is! Where'd he go? <laughs> Where did he go? Mom, Liam's gone! Oh, he's back. Never mind. Okay. Boys. Like in the middle of like a maze. And <laughs> nice to know ya. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to find my way in there now. We're going around to danger. You're at the center. Ooh, Amphed. Okay, I'm recording. No real names. I'm not using your real name. I just said Amphed. Get it off. Oh well. My dad came with the car. They'll come eventually. And if there's he is but a lawyer. monastery now the literal monastery for a tour really nice there is a visitor center monastery really by appointment Bapkin church and a library and that is the library very nice very pretty actually Alphys I think this would be like that would be like your dream home wouldn't it it would it is what do you think dad 
That's kind of awesome. That's kind of awesome looking. This is actually really nice. Would be a really nice place to live. You could like dress up every day, and people would not think it's weird. Okay. Among fellow geeks. Going into the library. The doggy! It's a doggy again. Bye. It's the quiet area. Can't talk right now. Just look at the scenery. You don't even care, I just filmed your nose. <laughs> Why'd you do that? It's called seeing if you would see. Hey, that's spooky. <laughs> don't look up. Ah! Okay. It go. didn't touch me, did it? How do we go around this? There's a gigantic spider web right in there, making this acorn hang. Oh my god! <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I got a close shot of Elvis's back of her head for some reason. Why are you behind me like that? Because. Take a couple of pictures. Oh, there's a sign up there. It is more blessed to give a man than to receive. Shot. To the benefactors of Mepkin Abbey, past, present, and future, the monks of Mepkin Abbey dedicate this place. October 10th, 2001. It's you probably catch up to your family. Yeah. Whoa. It's redwood. <laughs> I don't think that's the Lauren Cemetery, is it? Elvis, what do you think that is? Hmm? What do you think the white things are? I don't think that's the Lauren Cemetery. Do you? I don't think that's it. That's not the Lauren Cemetery, is it's it? It's not the Lauren Cemetery. I don't think that is. I'm not. Okay, wanna go up there, Elvis? Okay, I'm leaving you. <sighs> Sorry.
I'm sorry if it's good. I can't really speak that much. It's a very quiet place. Elvis, come on. Okay. And that's where the, that's where the uh, tour starts at the store. Right. I'm so sorry, sir. I thought that we actually are missing one of my parties. Started recording again. Oh, hey, Alphys, do you want to see if we can ask him some questions about the monastery for our video? You can ask. What, what kind of questions would we ask? I don't know. We'll smack you. <laughs> So this Benedictine life flourished in Europe uh, and then began to flourish in America starting in the uh, first Trappist monastery in 1848. There were lots of other Benedictine monasteries in America and really they, they opened up frontiers in a lot of places. Benedictines who taught schools and run parishes and all of that. Trappist came in 1848 of these close to the contemplative monasteries. It's that they made the first one. Um, they built that monastery in outside of Louisville for 80 months. In the 40s, there were 300 monks in the Why was that? World War II. <laughs> Men coming back from the war, because that changes your life, gives you a new set of priorities. Many men were joining monasteries. So, Gethsemane had 300 in the 40s. So, in 1944, they began to send out groups of men all over the country because they had so many there and they created new monasteries and they created five monasteries from 44 to 52 I think it was, 52 I think it was. They created five. The first one was in Conyers, Georgia, right side of Atlanta. The second one was in Utah. We were the third here at Metkin. The fourth was in the Finger Lakes in New York, near Rochester in Tennessee. Okay, we are in the area where the Lawrence Cemetery is. So you can tell it, it rained. We went on the tour, couldn't really record. I secretly recorded. There's Dad again. Always in the background of this. Um, and I will add that later. Um, so I took as many photos as I can and it was a 15 minute video so I cut it. And we are going to head to the Lawrence Cemetery in a few minutes. I need to find out. Yo. Yo. By the way, this is one of the best gifts you can Yes, thank you. I'm getting a left bit of this. It's the eye of time, it's a thrill of time, it's an up to the heaven of our rivals. And so I'm being left behind. I apologize for listening. I have Tiger in the car. We let our phones charge. Beautiful place. Truly beautiful. About to head to the cemetery. And the entire reason why we came is the Lawrence Cemetery, so I'll get that up. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go this way. The steps. I do not like the steps.
My mom was telling us to be quiet, but then she said, just go, so I'm just gonna go. I don't know where they went. No clue. I think you're up there. There they are. Oh yeah, this is definitely something Henry Lawrence would own. No real name. Sorry. Or they. This is definitely something Henry Lawrence would own. Isn't a, didn't the apple say something about a, uh, a, in the ruins of a boat? Where? He was either lying, or it's not showing because it just rained. Well, that's a, question. All right. Guys, I think I see the cemetery. Yep, I see it. Let's, can we go? Yeah. Let's go. All right, we're finally heading to the cemetery. The only the same thing I've been wanting to see all day. Finally. It rained. Um, Bert and Hand. Bert and Hand. It rained. Beautiful here. Well, that's a pretty statue. I really want to see the cemetery and I really just want to run to it. But for the safety of it actually being historical, we have to go up to the statue and read it, don't we? Mepkin. Our Lady of Mep, Lady of Mepkin, 1954. Okay, that's out of the, that is out of the zone we've been meeting to. Oh, we're sorry, we're filming a history vlog. This is a bit out of our time zone, so wanna go ahead? I have to read the names for the sake of the, a history vlog. I just read them aloud, but you weren't over here, so. Okay, so let me just go ahead and say, this is not what we came here for. But as for the sake of history and teaching, I have to read them. Here lies Nancy Bryan Luce, 1929 to 1987. Oh. Cochrane Bryan Cassidy. 1955 and 1986. Anne Claire Bronaugh, 1924 and 1944. Younger than John when she died. 1885 to 1948. No, that's old compared to everyone else in here. So should we go down there and then head our way back over there? I want to find the boat. So yeah. Burton Hound, you're not going to find the boat. Find the boat. It rained too much. Wow, it's beautiful. Come on. One more. Hey, I was looking for you. I just watched our video myself. Oh, you should have told me. You know, if I named the video we saw John Lawrence, Lauren's um, grave, this might count as clickbait. Yeah, it would. It really would. If if I don't see it at the least. I don't think we're allowed to go down there. Should we just turn back? Oh, hey, there's a. Hello. Just gotta keep pointing here because she's a fan. The kids are so cute. We don't babies. Because a, a wedding happened here, apparently. John, everyone loves you. Were you pointing that at me? I was for a minute. Beautiful. Let's head back. Let's go. I want to find that okay, cemetery for the last thing I do. Beautiful. You can canoe in there. I wish. I don't think you're allowed to do No, I meant it is like a canoeing area, I think. If I read that, if I see the picture correctly. Probably not. Maybe. One can hope. Oh dear. I'm starting to think we're never going to find it. 
It's like harmless. You know what? First. You know what? I don't even think we're at the, that cemetery. Where are we? We're by the Columbiarian. The, right, we're around here, right? Let me see. The Lawrence Cemetery is up that way. Oh, yeah, that's way. it. Is it possible that's it? No, that's not it. It just looks so close. Okay, okay. we are right here. Oh. We're right here. We need glass bag. Solve the mystery. It looks like you're getting some beautiful video. Yep. Alligators may live here. Not a good place to get new. That's what Elf. I thought. Sorry, I read it. I, I saw it wrong because like, Ooh, I was look. Right there. Scenic shot. Take a picture. I only have it on video. That's what I'm doing. Why, what else did you think I said scenic shot if I wasn't going to take a picture? Hand. Bird and hand, not for a hand. I did it on purpose. <laughs> I totally did it on purpose. Totally. totally. Beautiful again. This looks like the, that picture that comes with a quote I left because you never asked me to stay. Oh, it's one of my favorite quotes. It's so beautiful and deep, you know. Yo, for a hand. Give us a wave! Stop yelling! <laughs> Get it on video so I can screenshot when I see her. Shut up. I'm not sure. It's a wild geisha girl, Dad. I think it sees us. It's. Bum, 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 bum! Just now. And I'm back. Sorry, I had to crop it because um, my real name got used. Oh, there's words there too. Wait. There's words all around. Read them really? all. Yeah. No, I mean all the way around here. Yeah, there's words all around. Oh. <sighs> like this, suffer the little children to come onto me and for. There's like three or four daddy long legs on that one grave. It's good luck. Why am I getting good luck for being around John's grave? You're, you're having good luck because of... Okay, I got y'all in the picture again. Perfect. And here's two granddaddy long legs. You can name them John and who? Emily. His and wife was yeah. named Martha, and his and John his daughter and, and his daughter was named Frances. Look, daddy, two of them, John and Martha. Are we leaving the grave cemetery now? Yeah. Well, guys, this is it. Just kind of in shock. Okay, do you want me to take a picture of you and those people? Sorry, I'm just kind of shaking a bit. I'm just a bit shaky after seeing that. Okay. I gotta go.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed your time at Mepkin Abbey. I'll visit my family and I definitely did. And I hope it inspires you to come over and visit Mepkin Abbey as well. It's so nice, beautiful. We're definitely going back. We also found a little note, obviously fake though, um, to John. We, so we brought it home. We're going to make a copy of it, put it in the jar we found. And then we are going to make one of our own and put it in, put it back, and see how far it goes. Maybe we can make make it like a trend who knows but um i will put alphas and i's public social medias right after this but if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this click that subscribe button and click that little bell icon right there in the corner if you like get notifi notifications every time i upload a video alphas might not will probably mostly be joining for our history vlogs um the ones just about characters, um, what I do independently. But I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out my other videos. I'm going to be uploading a video soon about Pe Peggy, Margarita Peggy Skyler Van Rensselaer, Eliza's sister, because she's unknown too. Not lot's known about her, so we're going to jump right into that in the next few weeks. See y'all next time, and here is Alpha and I's social medias.